Hello, welcome to this video on performing a closed circuit test on a transformer. Now a closed circuit test is just like it sounds like. It's a test in which our second area of our transformer is closed or in this case we could also call it a short circuit test because what we're going to do is we are going to short it out. Now let's talk about it. So what we do with this test, a closed circuit test, we're using this test um, to find two things, the percent IZ of the transformer or the percent voltage impedance required to overcome the losses of the transformer, or we can even use it for um, copper losses, and that's what our watt meter will measure. Um, so a couple things we can do, right? So, and I do have a, another video on percent IZ, which I have linked below and above, check that out as well as an open circuit test, which is completely different. I've linked that below and above as well. So check those out. But what we're gonna do with this closed circuit test is we are going to energize this circuit with a variable voltage. So we've closed circuited the second, we've short circuited the second. We are gonna connect up a variable voltage supply. Now what we're gonna do is we are slowly going to increase the voltage until we reach rated secondary current. Therefore, here on the secondary, we are going to put an ammeter. So we're going to calculate our rated secondary current. Now how we're going to do that is we're going to use our S equals E times I. Of course, transposing, take the apparent power of our transformer, divided by the rated secondary voltage, is gonna give us the rated current. Now what we do with that number is we will slowly increase the voltage until it energizes the core enough to reach that rated current on the secondary. Now you're looking at a uh, percent IZ there, the percent of your rated voltage required to achieve that. That is what a short circuit test does. Now one other benefit is if I put a watt meter here. I guess the wiring would be a little bit different. Let's take a quick look. Right, if I were to put a watt meter in the circuit, I am able to get that primary current to flow as well as the secondary, and that'll allow me to measure my losses or my copper losses of the transformer because I get that high current flowing and I will get that secondary current flowing. So uh, that's what you can do with this. Um, pretty cool test, a closed circuit test. Make sure you check out my other video, like I said, on that percent IZ, as well as the open circuit test, and another one as well, talking about those copper losses a little bit more. Thanks so much for watching. Have yourself a great day.